doing my box braids. I learned that you definitely need to keep your hair hydrated because I had two completely different textures of hair when I took the hair up. The hair up here was like scarecrow, desert dry. I had to do the baggy method to keep it in because it was so bad. It was like desert dry, like it's gonna almost break off or something. It was so bad. And the hair back here felt like really moisturized, like actually good, like touchably soft. Never do box braids just off a wash day. You need to make sure you reapply your twisting butter, preferably a souffle. Reapply that stuff because it needs to have some sort of water in it, not the butter, but something that's moisturizing and sealing at the same time, like a souffle or a pudding or a custard. I use the Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Souffle. So that really, it was like a different head of hair back here. And I remember before I did each box braid, even though it took a little bit more time, I put some souffle on that section before I braided it up. And the sections I didn't put on, it was just like, yeah. I mean, like a different world, like no life. It's really, really important. It's the difference between your hair potentially breaking off and you losing a lot of hair and a lot of length and you just having moisturized hair that's retaining that length. It's a simple thing, but it's a major difference. So definitely do that. That's what I learned from wearing my box braids. That was my first time doing box braids and it came out really, really well and I was really excited. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in the next video. Later.